I enjoyed that. Bit over the top, weren't you? You told me later on. No, that's sick. She might sling me out again. Okay? Nah, she feels so guilty. Yeah, good boy. Did I get my 20 quid now? There you go, mate. Do you fancy roast? I mean, with your lamp. Wait, what's going on? Um, she was, she was bragging me something and then surrender is empty. Oh, yeah. Travis, look me in the eye and tell me that's true. It was her idea. What was? When she found out you'd finished with Ralph. Found out? How? I sort of told her. Why? I didn't think it was fair her living in that rabbit hutch. You've been there. Edmonton. Don't be silly. She showed me around on Skype. You knew about Ralph this whole time. Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say something? Oh yeah, and have to listen to you gloating about how you were right and I was wrong. I never gloat, Tracy. But in this instant, I was right and you were wrong. And if you had listened to me the first time that I saw Ralph's internet profile and said he was too good to be true. I bet you told her I was going to that book signing as well. I was trying to bring you two back together. You're all each other's got. That's not true. I've got you, babe. I've got Garthy. He's an Australian mum, and I'll be going to uni soon. All the time I was growing up, I had you both here, and it was great. Like having two mums? No, like having one mum and a really, and a really naughty big sister. Cheers, mate. I really miss having my brother around. It's funny the things you miss. Sometimes I even miss Doreen. What, that old slapper from next door? I'm Travis. Only she ate Doreen anymore. She turned into Foxy Collins. She wrote that dirty book. What do you know about it? Everyone in my year has read Sixty Shades of Green, except the remedial kids. We have to read it to them. Oh my God, if I ever clapped eyes on Doreen again. Not very likely, is it, Trish? She's big time. Hardly ever gonna ring an hour though. Ding dong.